Hello again everybody, this is John and Glenn with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the American Bodybuilding or ABB Pro NO. Um, it's the pre-workout formula from ABB. Um, give you a little background on it. It's, it's, it's a lower in amount of stimulants than you're used to than a lot of pre-workouts. So what we're going to do is run through the label real quick and kind of give you some thoughts on it as we go. So Glenn, let's go ahead and kick it off with the first ingredient. There's, a, it's, there's an NO blend as they call it. Um, and if you've seen our other videos, you've kind of seen our, our view is on the whole nitric oxide production. You know, I think it's a little too early to say that there are actual ingredients that are increasing nitric oxide to this point. You know, most pre-workouts should be judged on how the stimulants make you feel. It's one of the mm -hmm. rare times where we'll actually apply, apply the criteria of how you feel to supplements without looking at research. So, starting it off, it's a 7.8 gram blend, and the first ingredient is the... Is creatine monohydrate, uh, which is good. So, being that it's a higher uh, dosage and creatine monohydrate is the first ingredient, uh, we could venture to guess that it's, it's a... Higher than normal dosage of caffeine, so three to five we're guessing grams, three to five grams maybe. Which would be good. Um, and you know, from our creatine videos, creatine recycles ATP, um, increases your body has circulating ADP. The creatine monohydrate lends a phosphate group to that to allow your body to then have more ATP, which is your body's cellular energy. Um, next is micronized L arginine. Um, that's probably the ingredient that's in here for the nitric oxide effect. Um, and if you've seen some videos we've done before on arginine and uh, its effects, you know, it does have a limiting factor. Uh, your body does begin to produce an enzyme called arginase, which can inhibit a nitric oxide production from arginine. Yeah, it goes back to your body wanting to maintain homeostasis or balance. So there's an inhibitory effect, as Glenn said. So as far as arginine increases in nitri nitric oxide to this point, there really isn't any good evidence of that. So. Mm -hmm. You know, for what it's worth, it's in a lot of pre-workout supplements, so it seems you know everyone kind of jumped on that train. So, mm -hmm. next. yeah, the next ingredient is L-tyrosine. You'll see this in a lot of energy blends and products, as it does provide some energy. Uh, a lot of people looking to cycle off of caffeine. Tyrosine is a great ingredient for that. Um, so, yeah, it's in here just to boost energy levels. Uh, next would be taurine. Taurine again, popular in a lot of energy supplements. Uh, it, it's it's actually very good for. Uh, balancing electrolytes in the body, um, probably though in here more so for an energy production. Um, and then we come to uh, carnosin, the patented form of beta alanine, um, and you've probably seen our beta alanine videos in the past we, we've done. Beta alanine basically, or what, not basically, what it does is it buffers hydrogen ions produced. Your body produces lactate alanine and, and hydrogen ions when you're working out, and these hydrogen ions can build up and they cause a soreness in the muscle where you get to your eighth or ninth rep and you just can't get anymore because the body does, or the muscle doesn't want to contract. So let's beta alanine will buffer those hydrogen ions allowing your body to get through that set. Yeah, and it's, it's acid, so the, in the Glenn's correct call it hydrogen ions, but sometimes it's you'll just say yeah. it's acid. It'll, you'll see H plus if you're going to look at a, um, it's always writing it out in terms of chemistry and stuff. So the, the body's ability to uh, neutralize that acid is, is really going to help increase performance, especially in those short bursts of energy. So. Uh, next is L-citrulline malate. Um, citrulline has been shown to increase your body's natural or conversion in, or natural production of arginine. Um, I know you were saying that it's, uh, you've seen it as it's a Krebs cycle intermediate. Yeah, the question is, does it does it work? You know, we don't know. We know it's it's in a lot of stuff. I think there's got to be some more research done on how effective it is at this point. And a lot of people are high on it, um, but in theory, it should work. I think really what it comes down to is we need to see some more absorption studies to see if, if really, in fact, it is working per se so uh, next ingredient is grape extract um, standardized for polyphenols you'll see grape extract in a lot of newer products now um, I've seen some research to show it helps with uh, endurance balancing electrolytes um, and also pain um, but there are differences in the extracts and what extract uh, exactly they're using in here they do list it um, but I'm not familiar with the differences, so I yeah, we'd have to, to see what more. percent it's standardized mm -hmm. too for the active ingredient because without knowing that, plus grapes are good for um, antioxidants. Antioxidants, so yeah, that's another side to it. And then last is going to be the caffeine from tea. Yeah, and natural caffeine. What 100 tea. milligrams total caffeine? So mm -hmm. this is a nice pre-workout for somebody who's not crazy about getting a ton of stimulants, or maybe you want to use a pre-workout and you're coming off one of the more concentrated ones, you know, like a one MR. Uh, like a hemorrhage, ultra concentrate, something like that, which are much heavily loaded with stimulants. So maybe you want something to 
come down with so you don't get the caffeine withdrawal headache. So this would be at 100 milligrams, this is kind of nice. Plus the addition of beta alanine is nice before you work out. You know, you're gonna get that little tingling feeling. Um, I did try this one. We don't know exactly how much beta alanine is there. I did feel the tingling, so uh, that, that leads me to believe that it's, it's got at least that gram to gram and a half that you'd want per serving. Not sure, but just going by how that effect, the pins and needles, I know yeah. in the past when I've taken less, I don't feel that, but we're not sure because it is a proprietary blend. So it's kind of nice in the sense there's creatine, there's beta alanine, two really good ingredients, a lot of research behind them, and a nice little dose of caffeine. So it could be something for a nice little jolt before you work out. I mean, that's that's really what it comes down yeah, to. Yeah, a lot of times you'll hear us talk about cycling off of pre-workouts because of high dose of stimulants, and we never say go cold turkey because you're going to have those withdrawal problems, the headaches. Yeah, you have to taper down. So. Tapering down. So this is something definitely that's nice to take in between those cycles. And another good thing we get a lot of questions about, a good way to, to, to break up so you don't get that tolerance to stims is to maybe take your pre-workout, you know, maybe three or four times a week because you don't want to build up that tolerance and you start out using one scoop and then before you know it you're on three scoops to feel it and, and you really just don't want to go that route because at some point too many stems can be a bad thing mm -hmm. um, so that, that's that's a good way to avoid that um, you know however if you're relying on something like this one for your for your creatine and beta alanine intake you do want to take it every day yes. but it's only 100 milligrams of caffeine so it's really not that big of a deal or alternatively you can use something like this one three or four times a week and then buy creatine and beta alanine separate they're pretty cheap ingredients and they work, so that's another route to go to. Yeah, and if you're looking to get the benefit of the creatine beta alanine from this and you think it doesn't have enough stimulants, you could add some caffeine to it if you wanted to. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's yeah. feasible. I mean, if that's if that's what you wanted, if you really like the ingredients profile, you could do that too. So that's something else to consider. Um, yeah, I think that wraps it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section of the video or the blog. Also, you can find us on facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you.